Remember to always be true, no matter what you do. I run it, I never front it. I got my whole cool life on it. Big shot, man, listen. Morning, guys. Just got home from doing my AM cardio. Such a nice day outside. Flipping boiling. Apparently, there's going to be some mad heat wave. So, the funny thing is, as your body fat drops, there's not as much insulation. So, I tend to feel cold. Like the sun was beating down on my head, and I still felt shivery. It's weird. But yeah. Someone asked me yesterday, um, do I know who I'm competing against? I was like, no. <laughs> Don't really need to know. It doesn't change. I'm not the type of person that I need to see someone else's progress to be able to push myself and I don't think anyone should be like that. If someone else's progress is what is the driver for you, then you're never going to push yourself because you don't know how hard they're pushing themselves. They might be only going at 50%. So if you're looking at them at like they're at 110% and you're trying to match that, you're not reaching your own full potential. So really, all I'm trying to do is beat what I brought last time. Which I'm quite happy with. I measured my waist. And um, this video was like about two years, no, sorry, a year and a half back. Um, when I did the my first show with the UK BFF, the Nationals, and um, there was a video called my 29 inch waist. My waist came in at 29.9 or something. I was so happy with that, you know, small tight waist, big shoulders, big back. My shoulders and back have got bigger and I measured my waist this morning, 29.6. <laughs> that's just silly that's yeah happy about that my weight's fluctuating a bit but I'm not really watching the weight yeah so don't don't, don't compare yourself to other people there's no point there's no point but today I'm going to be going through like skin prep I've got to go and pick up my shorts as well but there's like before you tan and stuff and before you wax and all that kind of stuff you need to like exfoliate and stuff so I'm gonna head to boots in a bit pick up a few bits and then um yeah i'll take you along show you what i get um take you to go and pick up my shorts see how they fit hopefully they fit nice and nice and snug or else i'm screwed but <laughs> yeah they, they do a good job so i'm, I'm happy so We'll see. I'm gonna have some breakfast now. Um, now she's got the day off work as well. She's going to meet one of our old clients who recently had a baby as well. So they're having a little mother's meeting um, over some lunch. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna crack on. I've got back and I think back and rear delts today. And I've got arms and delts tomorrow. And then I'll start my, my depletion workout. So, yeah, just smash these workouts, get the food in, get the water in, increase my water now as well. So, um, now I'm sitting around six litres. Yeah, just going to crack on and I'll check you guys in a little bit. Alright guys, so I'm on my way to go and pick up my shorts from the dry cleaners. Um, I'm really, really tired now. I just feel flat, depressed. <laughs> uh, it's just, yeah, not, not one of my best days. Hopefully after I train, I should feel a little bit better, but right now I'm just... Uh, this is one of the bad days. You'll never, you'll never ever, ever, don't let anyone ever tell you that you're going to be happy through all your prep and it's easy and you know, you should always be cheerful. No, there's going to be some days that you flipping hate everything and everyone in the damn world. Everything will piss you off. 
and you just won't be happy. It's normal. You're not eating what you want to eat. You're not, um, you're kind of like forcing yourself to lift what you want to lift. As opposed to if you're in a calorie surplus, then that's a different story. You know, you're, you're eating what you want to eat pretty much and then you're lifting how you want to lift consistently all the time without, not much effort, but without concentrating so hard on doing it. So take it, it's part of the process. So it's nothing to do with, oh, I hate competing, being moany, it's just, that's, this is what, this is what happens and this is why not many people can actually get to a shredded state because there's a lot of ups and downs. <sighs> I feel like I've talked for too long. But yeah, once I've got my shorts, um, I, I need to go and pick up some water. In my final week, I always go from having, I normally have tap water and then I get either uh, Highland Spring or Evian because um, it has the lowest sodium content to so help flush out and start up my natural diuretic system so I'll have to head to Asda or Tesco where I'm gonna pick up <laughs> a whole heap a whole heap of bottles um, so my water goes up again tomorrow so um, yeah I'll keep you posted and I'll see you in a bit hopefully I'm a bit more cheerful all right, so I've got my shorts now. Let's have a look at the job that they've done. I'll set this on the dashboard. Cool. Nice job they've done there. That's neat. And they pressed it for me as well. Very happy. Alright, so I might pop to, I'm just around the corner from my parents actually, so I might pop in and say what's up to my dad and then head off to Asda. So I'll see you in a sec. Alright, so I'm on my way to Boots now to pick up um, a few things, which um, I try and film when I'm in there, but I hear they're really funny about filming inside shops, like you're going to try and come back and steal something. Very ridiculous. Um, just at the pearly way. should be there in a second um, if I can't film in there whilst I'm going around the shop then I'll just show you when I get home but I am so flipping hungry I am tired I am drained can hardly focus but peak week right See you guys in a sec. Alright guys, back home. The sun is beating down on me with the low calories. Is it's just stress. I thought I'd take you through my purchases. Um, after I went to Boots, which I'll show you the stuff in a second, I got some really good finds. I mean, you guys saw from my last, um, one of my last videos, the Diet Ginger Beer. Damn. 0.4 calories per 100 bill. Easy stuff. And um, this is what I always recommend for my clients, Hartley Sugar Free Jelly. See if it focus. Come on. There oh, you can see it from there. Alright, yeah, so normally these have like 
two grams of carbs which like 0.2 is sugar or something this has 0.6 per pot only two calories per pot and 0.1 gram of sugar that's a lifesaver that is a lifesaver for real and I've got a whole heap of Highland Spring a couple bottles for the rest of today and also, oh, this uh, cherry vimto. So basically, this is much like the jelly is per hundred mil diluted, two calories, zero, and everything. Happy game. Yeah. All right, let's have a look at the. Um, purchases from boots all right so really for the show you want to look you want to look your best you've spent flipping ages dieting you've put yourself through hell doing cardio training uh, low calories low carb whatever dieting method you use you've been through hell and back what you should have done um, so you need to make sure that everything is on point so to make sure that the tan goes on, yes, we do tan, even only by chocolate complexion. Um, I will tan and I will show you that too. But um, exfoliate, exfoliate, because you don't want to put the tan on and you've got like some dry, flaky, ashy skin and it just doesn't really take to your skin. So, salt scrub. This one is um, by Champneys, just a citrus blush short scrub and as I've just walked into the room I've just found the one that I got from the last show which is really good so I just really wasted eight pounds but not wasted I can use it for the next show but that one's from Sanctuary Spa Ultimate Salt Scrub so like three days before the show I would start um, using that to exfoliate can't be bothered to pay wax people and around this area <laughs> you go to wax and I went to um, one place by Norwood Junction and she looked at me funny because it's only women that go in there and they're only wax women. So I was like, you know what, I'll just do it myself. So the wax removal cream, been using that for pretty much every show. Apart from the Arnold's, which, is, which I went to my friend um, and she did it. Facial mask, just make sure my pores are clear. And just some razors for any last minute little bits. And that's it. Just to make myself look clean. Um, my shorts are looking really good. They've done a really, really good job on it. So I'm really happy about that. Um, and that's it. I'm going to go to the gym and smash back. So I will show you some highlights now. And I think after that I'll sign off on the video. Just so I can get it up at a reasonable time. It's hard to record a whole day and then flipping upload it. Otherwise the last upload went up like 1 a.m. I was up for ages. So just to get it up earlier, I'm gonna sort out after the back session. So I will catch you guys tomorrow. <laughs>
just done a few exercises and today I think this is really the hardest session to try and get through. Everything just feels like a chore. So, so difficult. I never fronted, I got my whole cool life 